It was a spectacular August evening. The day had cooled just enough. It was still hot, but it wasn't. The sun had gone down slightly. There was this beautiful wind. Way too nice of an evening to stay home. So I grabbed my then nine-year-old son for an impromptu low expectations evening at Kitty Land. Now, low expectations meant couple rides, slice of pizza, home by eight. <laughs> so we're just coming off the tilt to whirl, and I'm a little disoriented already, but I notice all this chaos going on around us, particularly my son. There was this large Hispanic group had gathered, and they were like hugging him and picking him up, and I'm <laughs> What the heck is going on? Finally, the spokeswoman for the group, Aunt Carrie, Titi Gotti, explains to me that Danny is her long lost nephew. That, yeah, that's what I was looking like. And she goes on to explain that when Danny's dad, her brother, was shot and killed, mom took off with the kids and nobody knew they never knew what happened to them but they recognized danny and she's going on and on and on telling me how excited she is to visit danny and all these abuelas and titis were going to come over and i'm like stop i was not feeling her enthusiasm <laughs> at all Danny had just moved in with us about a year ago. He was our first foster child. And our plan was always to adopt Danny. They had picked the agency, Hepzibah, had picked him out for us because he was in a category of kids called likely eligible for adoption. So at that moment, he was not, but the courts were moving in the direction of terminating parental rights Danny would have lived with us like about a year by that point. We adopt him, live happily ever after. That was the plan. Titi Gotti was never part of the plan. So I was speechless and so scared. I didn't know much about foster care, except they will always give a child back to the biological family. So I was completely speechless and God gave me the words that I needed. And I said, you know, I, I appreciate you. Um, I didn't, but I said that. Um, but Danny is a foster child. So there's a process to go through. You need to call the agency, meet with them, do whatever they tell you, and then we'll talk about visit. Okay, no problem, she's all excited still, and she hugs me, she hugs Danny, and she takes off. I called the agency the next day hysterical, you can imagine, and the caseworker said, don't worry so much. As soon as biological family finds out, they have to be background checked, fingerprinted. They're not going to follow through. Don't, don't, please don't worry so much. Oh, not this family. I am telling you within two weeks, the entire family, and I'm talking about 3% of Humboldt Park, was <laughs> fingerprinted, background checked, ready for a visit. And I'm just dying. So Jim and I uh, invited them to our home, which probably sounds goofy to you, but we were trying to control any part of the situation that we could. So they came over, Titi's, Abuela's, Grandma was there, uh, even Danny's biological brother and sister came, and it was a beautiful, beautiful day. It was so obvious that they adored Danny and Danny adored them. And my heart was just breaking because you want what's best for Danny. But he was my kid at that point. So um, at the end of the visit, Titi Gotti walked over to me and she said, I will always honor you and Jim as Danny's parents but I would like to be a part of his life. So if I can um, 
stay connected. I'd really appreciate that, but I will not interfere with an adoption. Oh, oh my wow. God, I was so excited. So um, we ended up adopting Danny. He is 33 years old right now. We have remained very close with Titi Gadi and her family. We've seen her kids grow up. Um, she has helped us so tremendously. We ended up actually taking Danny's brother and sister. So it was chaos at the house. I, those are other stories I could share sometime. But I would call Aunt Carrie, I'm like, I need help. She's like, I'll be right there and she'd take them for the weekend. Um, it was just so much a blessing. So what could have been the most terrifying meeting at Kitty Land, I could have imagined, turned out to be truly a blessing. Great. Thank you. Thank you.